Oh shit. Hello. Welcome back. We're on um we're on some high tower today. It's been only a week, but you know, we thought we we give it a go today as uh, as Bill Nye the investment banker. That's that's his title. He's he's moved away from science a little bit. He decided being the science guy wasn't quite his thing, and he wanted to work towards being uh, you know kind of an intermediate between uh, clients and their banking suitors, in order to allow them a you know a secure and safe banking opportunity. But yes, um, I wasn't too sure what uh, loadout to use either, so I used a uh, handy little blogspot website. Can't remember what it's called, but if you Google for like TF2 random loadout generator, that guy just blew himself on a crit very unluckily, but um, it'll pop up somewhere. It's quite nice. It just kind of it gives you like a uh, random set of, oh dear, three weapons. Or four, depending on your class. I think the spy also could pick you a sapper. I might even also pick you a, uh, a watch in, in as well, if you're lucky. But um, yes, we, we're going with this today. And in addition to that, I thought I'd pop on the fence, just so you could see this little fix. Some people might not have seen before. If you equip uh, all three of the uh, the Sahara and Spice set, it doesn't give you silent decloak like it used to. Instead, it gives you like, this nice little uh, little whirlwind that you've been looking at. But uh, no, we, we, we have joined on high tower because I thought it's been a little while since I played on this. That's not who I think it is in the other team. Um, but that no, might be quite good. Perhaps not the best Euro Tunnel reward map, but you know. They don't know who we are or what we're up to, so they, they might let us get away with some cheeky picks. There you go, some cheeky picks there. Come on, give us give us a cheeky pick. Come on. Cheeky pick. He just... Excuse me. He's trying to headshot us while he's invisible, though. The prick. But yeah, um, you might have noticed that there hasn't really been much coming out in the past week, but uh, that would be because uh, last time I mentioned that I uh, could put some effort out and produce a, uh, a video of the frag variety. Uh, however, that would take a long time and a lot of effort. However, I decided, you know what, I'm actually going to put the time and effort in and make that. So that's what, <laughs> that's what I've been doing. I stuck to my word. He's going to come around the corner, isn't he? Cut the backstab anyway, but yes, it's uh, put the time effort in. I've been going through all sorts of old demo. I went all the way back to like September for some of these demos, and I had really in specific things on in my head. I was like, oh, I remember I got I killed a guy on upward once, and I was running on that kind of thing, where um, I had to go through I think about like seven or eight different demos of what I thought could have been right, until I eventually found the right one. But yeah, it should be quite good, and hopefully coming out soon. I've got what I'm trying to do is not make one of those ones with like three quite good frags, and the rest of them just being filler. Uh, I don't want him to backstab me, but I would like to get this soldier if he's if he's willing to comply. Thank you. You're gonna you're gonna understab me or something. Give, give it a go. Come back. Come on. Give it a go. Don't just run off. Perhaps a corner stab. You'll you'll try that. He's trying his best. Come on. I have I have the dif disadvantage because I'm moving slowly, so he should be able to get this. Oh, never mind. The the other man popped up. He he, he did that. I didn't know that that was a, an unlock yet. In uh, make a spy appear, but. Apparently that's uh, perhaps something ETF to admins need to ban sometime soon. <laughs> those of you, those of you not aware, by the way, recently they banned and unbanned the the Dead Ringer in ETF to which I I thought was quite funny. I thought I, I'd give it a go. I thought it'd be quite fun to see uh, people having to start trying properly because they haven't really been. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, that's not the case. They brought it back, so uh, ETF to next season looks like it's just going to be gun spies and uh, snipers. Lots of fun for everyone. <laughs> You're going to think I'm going for that health pack, don't you? He's a prick, that man right there. He's a... He's a... He's a that's what we call him. He's a... You have to watch out for him. He's trying to outplay me, but he, little does he know the uh, the uh, the rates that Bill Nye, the investment banker, will give you are fucking fantastic. He'll only charge, like, a small investment fee, and you will get back, you know, a lot of your profits. It's all about, you know, trading shares here and there. Shares in, perhaps... Scrap.tf and backpack.tf. Who knows? Bill Knight, he's quite, he's quite an experienced little fellow. Oh shit! Cheeky stair stab on the way. There we go. That's where that's where it comes from. You got to watch out for those. Nice little staircase there, and a man with no hat on. Plus, we're using the eternal rewards. So we can see that this man actually had the. Uh... You're not a spy. Okay. He actually has the little sword, the, uh, the the pretty knife, which I quite wanted, but I also didn't want to spend like. I thought his name was a woo there. No, but um, I didn't want to spend like twenty pounds on a game I'd never play just to. Uh... Let's pull out the old the old flare gun here to make it a little bit more believable. Oh shit, watch out, but Oh I missed that. Oh dear, I accidentally right clicked like twice. That's alright, look. He's gonna come down for the health pack. We're gonna go for the old the old one two cadoodle, that's what we did. He's he's gonna try and shoot us with his ambassador. He actually hit that as well. I'm quite impressed about that. Good job. Good job though. Is he gonna chase us again though? That's what we've got to watch out for. 
Guy's a bit low, but we don't have an ambi, so we can't shoot him. We're, we're being a bit sneaky today. Our tower, I wouldn't normally say is the world's best spy map, probably. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh shit. He thinks we <laughs> oh, oh no. He got... Shit. He got destroyed there. I don't know why we missed that pirate there. I feel like, if you look at that on the slow-mo, I feel like we should have been clicking on his bum there. That's alright. Sometimes you... Sometimes you miss the, the ones you attempt to hit, and hit the ones you attempt to miss. That's how it works. Normally I try to go for a nice cheeky uh, little butter knife here and there, but um, sometimes I accidentally get a, a backstab. I'm not happy with that. I consider backstabs random crits at this point, because I never really quite aim for them, but they do happen. Ooh, we hit him there with a the, uh, the shot. I didn't think we should have done. Maybe he's got a bit of a ping on him. That could have... Perhaps? No? No, he's got 30 ping. That's not too shabby. Is he waiting for us up this staircase, though? He's going to try and... Ambassador Jewelers, where is he? Oh shit. Oh, he's over there with his with his soldier friend. Oh, there he is. He's run up that way, perhaps. Oh, he hasn't gone here at least. Okay. Also, I came up with an idea earlier while pondering. Two ideas, in fact. There you go. Oh, oh shit. He's running around with his dead ring around. What a numpty. Who'd ever do that? No, uh, one of the ideas was to um, was a little a short series idea because you know I'm not a huge fan of those like ten minute videos. However, I thought a really easy way to make like a shitload of videos without thinking about it would be to come up with a series idea where I perhaps play. Um, my thought was playing Gunspy on all of the Valve maps and having a video dedicated to each map. I thought it might be quite fun. So you have like a nice big playlist where you can see me playing it on. All the maps, you could be like, oh shit. Oh, that's how you do it on Dust Spell. That's, that's, those, are the, those are the top places to stand and, and shoot people. I thought it might be quite fun. Less of a, a learning experience and more of a, uh, you know, a, fun little, a fun little thing to do. And I thought one thing we could also do to tie that up is something I will... Oh, hello. Do you want to follow me up this staircase? Up the... My soul gargoyle is now delighted. I'm not sure what, what, what it did there, but it, it's pretty happy about it. <laughs> you see him there showing over the... Uh, over the red there, because he's cheating. This is my this is my wall hacks. He's being a bit cheeky there. He's he's trying to get the close range. He can't do it. Though. We'll hide here. Undecloak so he comes out and gets a bit aggressive and go for the big stair step. Oh shit! Come on. There you go. Don't don't. Oh thanks thanks for taking the health there. It's not like I'm on ten health or anything. Great. Oh, there's one over here though, so that's that's not too shabby. One thing I have noticed is that people are capping on this map. I'm not sure how to think about this. Could be worse. Actually, look. Go for the butter knife on this man, perhaps? Or this man? Oh, shit. Come here. There you go. Bill, Bill Nye's on a rampage. He's he's investing in so many different things. He's helping so many people out with their, with their funds. What a, what a great guy. Speaking of um, Bill Nye, have, uh, Bob Ross recently has been streaming. Or, you know, his, uh, you know, his Twitch, Twitch people have been streaming. He's obviously no, probably not in the best state to be streaming. Although, I don't know. Some of the streams do feel a bit deathly shit these days, I've got to be honest. But no, Bob Ross' stream is amazing. And I've been uh, sitting there. I got back into Dark Souls 2. Oh shit, you should take that. Well, I guess this is kind of revenge for earlier when I was on 10 health, isn't it? Yeah, that's what you get. You should, you should think about who who you fall before you uh, before you fall, and that's right. But, um, no. Um, I had a an attempt at playing Dark Souls 2 on stream a little while ago. Oh, these, these flicks are in, insane. Really bad flicks. You shouldn't flick that much. But no. Um, and I had a bad time, unfortunately, in Dark Souls. I didn't, I didn't have the best time. It was too dissimilar to my experience in 3 and 1 to make me want to kind of quit it. But I decided, hey, there's got to be something good about it. So I went back on my own time, you know, made, my, made a new character with, with, the, with, the, with the knowledge I had before. And I'm having a really good time. I'm probably like, like 10, 20, 30 hours in maybe right now. And I'm apparently not even halfway through. So I'm quite happy about that. I'm hoping the game kind of just gets better and better. But I'm quite, you know, pretty, pretty pleased that the, the game that I, you know, started out thinking, oh, this is going to be horrible, actually ended up being really enjoyable. It's got some very nice visuals, I've got to say. Some very nice... The bosses are amazing. People were saying that Dark Souls 2 is some of the best and worst bosses of the series, and I've got to agree. Some really, really cool ideas for bosses, and then some that are just, you know, big guy with a sword. Right, air blast. <laughs> Oh. We probably could have let Ron Jade him there, but you know, as you know, we're we're a bit more of the ambassador side here today than the uh, than the revolver. Oh, he's going big there, boy. That's he's going huge. I've actually got that uh, that spooky.
spooky skin. I've been using the shoes today because you know, you know what they say about big shoes. That's right, it's big, big investment opportunities. That's what you got. That's what we got to watch out for with Bill Murray. Him and his size twelves mean that your your bank will be soon be reaching the uh, the next level. Going for all the the big cheeky understabs today as well, because that's what makes you look like a like a big man. He's having uh, big stair stab opportunities. That's right. Look, look. Go on, pull your direct hit out. Go on, shoot me with that weapon and one shot me. I won't be miffs. Don't worry. Come on. Look, it's a corridor. You love those corridors, don't you? Or does he? Oh, coming back in for the opportunity. Yeah. Is he going to try and try and rocket jump? Look. Come back up here. <laughs> I might have saved that part of his life. But he like kind of skidded up here and fell straight off. I thought that's quite funny though. A boy going huge again, stopping the cap. I think someone on our team needs to cap. Well, that's quite well varied. I was going to say, oh, we're all X or Y class. <laughs> oh my, you are, you are going big today, man. Or oh, nearly. That could have been a lot bigger than it actually was. You're going to go for the big stair stab. Go for the big stair stab. Come on, come on. He tried. He tried his best. He was thinking about it. These soldiers are going to keep making their attempt, though, aren't they? It's like, oh, it's just some spies up on the roof. I can do this. Easy. Bust knife and get him, get him, get him. Don't let him run off. Ooh. I have a gun. Sometimes you forget when you have a gun. Go on. Stair stab me. Give it a go. Go huge. Go huge. Go huge. Go huge. Come on. Oh, shit. I'm about to die. Go on. Are you gonna, he's not going to taunt. He knows. He, he knows a bit better. Come on. Go for, go for the big the big chick stab. Go on. You ruined my fun. I don't like you, Sonntuk. I was, I was, you know, I was going to butter knife him and be a bit sneaky, but no. Not today. I see, I thought I'd lead him in there, even though I didn't see the spy. Sometimes you can get a little lucky. Come on, medic. Come and fight this pyro. I'm, I'm with him. Never mind. He's, he's well aware of what he's meant to do, though. He shot his arrow. Got to be a little bit upset about that, but you know. Well, actually, one thing I was planning to do with that with that series opportunity I provided um, at the low investment cost of five percent uh, a month. No, but um, compound interest is good. But no, I was thinking about um, perhaps making it. Make, if I could make them like ten minutes, twenty minutes long, I could potentially for a week attempt to make about a video day. Something I don't really intend on keeping doing for my life. You know, I. The reason I haven't been making videos, to be honest, is because I've been lazy. I've been I've been enjoying university life and how I can basically just be asleep all day. Oh god, he's 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 holding down his left click. I'm not happy with that. No, it's actually because I'm lazy. That's all right. Um, if I if I make a video a day for like a week, I think that'll make a lot of people quite uh, quite cheerful, and then also a lot of people quite upset. They're like, oh god, he's 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 making our website horrible, filling it with this nonsense and English people. I mean, we don't want that. We want Australians and New Zealanders. That's what this website's for now. No. But um, let's see what we can do up here. Actually, we haven't been talking at all about the gameplay. But as you've been seeing, we've been getting some rather large kill streaks because the, uh, believe it or not, the Dead Ringer in pubs is very easy to use. And it doesn't really take much effort. You just kind of do it. Come on. Fight me. Fight me. He didn't want to fight me. He ran off. He took the easy way out. I'm afraid of this medic and his crits, so I'm going to face the backburner pyro. Face him. Don't face away from... I could have backstabbed him, but I don't trust I don't trust the backburner. I feel like I've been backburnt from the front many times. So look, we can do that. We can just pop through here. Someone took that health bank. <laughs> can we go in here, though? Ooh, maybe. Ooh, we can. Lovely. If you didn't know, by the way, because they, they keep changing the weapon, the Dead Ringer gets about 75% of your charge back that you would normally get with the Invis Watch pack from packs. So a large ammo pack, might be 66%, a large ammo pack will give you back... That was a larger range than I thought you had. Hmm. Anyway, you'll get back about, you know, two-thirds, three-quarters of your thing back from a large pack, which is also roughly like a second or two in addition to the pack. So if you see a large pack, don't don't be afraid to just immediately decloak and then pick up the pack, because chances are you probably won't die like the second it takes you to get the rest of the charge. You're not a spy, you are a spy, okay. Ooh! There you go. Very good. No, we can actually do We can actually switch out the shoes for some, uh... Oh, shit. Yeah, put, put the spooky Grayley in the hat on, there you go. Did the spy just say they're playing with a handicap? That's a little bit rude, that's a little insensitive. This is 2016 and you should make sure to be as PG-13 as possible. 
you know, no, no, no sexist jokes, no racial, racial slurs, and certainly no talking about the phlogistonator. You know, the worst of the, the worst of the woes. One pyro unlock. Don't you dare arrow me. He's giving it. You know, I'm gonna go for a big stairs. Oh, oh, oh! That was a very, that was a very default stab right there. You know, I looked around the corner and then came back again. I thought. This pyro has hats on, so I was assuming he would kind of recognise that. But apparently not. He kind of let himself up for that. Oh. It's the medic from before. There you go. We got a crit at the end. We didn't really need a crit. This thing... The Death from Trade does do shit damage, but at least does like a little bit. <laughs> he could have got the spy there if we were a bit more lucky. Yeah, this also map... This map's quite good for aim practice, if you wanted to... Wanted an idea? It's quite quite open, so you can practice standing and uh, sniping with the ambassador, the ambu, if you want. Pretty good, pretty good for opportunities. I have to be honest. Just like uh, Bill Nye's uh, investment banking service, called uh, I don't know, Banking Brotherhood Investment Suppositories. Who knows? You have to watch out if it's a suppository. That would be a bit, a little bit of a painful uh, event. <laughs> you just want to make sure that your investments are nice and safe, and you have to put something up your bum. That's a very certain kind of company that will do that. And a very special kind of company. One you'll want to stick with with life. Out of either fear or uh, embarrassment. We also could have uh, could have stabbed him there, but I didn't really feel like it. You trying to short range on me? I have a gun. <laughs> Don't you dare. He was he was trying to belittle me. What a rude investment. He killed the medic. Oh, he's, he's right there. I just do like 75 damage with the butter knife. Very good. Oh, hello, medic. Have you come back for more? Let's go for a big, the big medic stab. Where is he? Oh, he's trying to chase us up here. <laughs> oh! It's like playing Ring Around the Rosie with a uh, man with a giant bloody saw. I missed six shots there. I feel a bit embarrassed about that. It's alright. We got the butter knife. Nothing in life should ever let you down, as long as you can get the butter knife, I think. There you go. That was not a butter knife. I feel like a lot of things could let me down now. Like that stab. Oh shit. Well, hello, backstab sound. Hello, backstab sound. Thank you, backstab sound. Sometimes I'm a little confused about it. It likes to make the little chink sound, and you know what you know what they say about little chinks. That's right. P poor investment quality. Come on. I'm not just spy. Oh, he thought he knew it. He he recognised. He recognised the signs. You know, like the guy staring him straight in the eye from outside the spawn door and not actually opening it. That's probably a pretty big sign. Also could be the pretty big sign that I have above my head that says, this is a spy, watch out. I need to get to the health pack before that pyro sees me. Oh, we did get him though, with the, with, the, with the revolver. You see, we're getting better and better. I've only actually, as funny as it might sound, I only just walked back from the, uh, from the centre of town. You know, I get my... Bloody hell. Come on, fight me. Fight me, you little shit. He doesn't want to. I take a... I walk to my bus stop. And then I take a bus from that to my campus, it's about half an hour away. And I sometimes like to walk and get a sandwich in town. Uh, today I had a Greg's. Normally I get a Subway, because they're nice, and I've gotten into those lately. But I had a Greg's today, and I thought, you know what, it's okay. Bit expensive, perhaps. £2.50 for, like, you know, a baguette. Bit expensive, but, you know. I'll, I'll, it's, it's worth it for the science, you know, for, for finding out how, how decent it is. And my final verdict is it's not as good as Subway. Sub Subway at least warm it, you know. <laughs> and you get to pick the nice honey thing. The honey the honey the honey bread I think is the, the best one. Objectively. No subjectivity here, I just think it's the best one. Excuse me. Your back was meant to be stabbed there. He's he didn't sign up to the uh, to the to the memo there that told him that backstabs work in this game. He instead misread it and thought it said backstabs don't work. Shit, I accidentally clicked there. Ooh. <laughs> Man just got hammed up the uh, up the bum. More trap when you get hammed up the bum. It might be a little bit of a, uh, a painful experience for the whole the whole family, the whole troop. See if we can uh, track this soldier throughout his flight. There we go. Good practice, as I say. If you if you want to practice getting air shots with the um, the ambi, not the worst map in the world, I have to say. We're not in the best place here. I bet he thought we'd go into the health pack now. Oh no, we're actually on fire. Oh no, he looked up slightly. If he hadn't have looked up there, I think we probably probably could have got the frag, but not today. Not today, unfortunately. We've got a lot of points as well. Um, as you'll notice, we've also got a shitload of backstab. That's why. Backstabs, they give you two points. It's 
quite a lot <laughs> for just using one of his one of his two weapons. But you know, that's all right. I do still feel like you should get extra sh extra points for air shots because they're cooler. But Val doesn't like cool. That's why they have a class that's all about all about the heat because they're all about that all about that paper Valvar, all about that flashing that cash, splashing it, mashing it, relaxing all cool, chilling out and playing some b-ball. That's right. Because a couple of guys might be up to some up to no good, doing some things in their neighbourhood, perhaps making a nice a nice was jig. Yeah, this pirate likes was jig. You can tell he's a bit of a bit of a puzzly sort. He is. We probably could have killed those soldiers there if we if we hadn't have been killed there ourselves. But perhaps our team can still cap. No. Okay. Just gonna sit here through the, through the relatively short respawn times. So I do have to say the high tower feels like quite a balanced map. Like, of all the ones in the pool, I never really feel myself thinking, like, oh, this respawn time's taking forever, or, oh, our team really should have won that. It's very much just, you know, deathmatch. Deathmatch, deathmatch, deathmatch. Deathmatch, deathmatch, deathmatch. Deathmatch, deathmatch. Ooh. Medic, I'm that soldier you were just healing. May I have a small buff, please? Medic? No. Me? You want to heal me? Hello? Medic? No? Okay, you're gonna get crit by a ham instead. Okay, I was hoping he would just turn around there and like Uber us or something, but you know, it, it, it could have worked. It works to everyone. <laughs> we have our we have our own medic today. He's he's decided he's gonna heal the like one. Excuse me, I was looking at you. He got his revenge on. Got his revenge on me. Now he he wasn't too happy with my prices, but to be honest, he's he's never happy about anything that Danny code on three. A bit of a, a bit of a twat, to be honest. He's. He went into Tesco's the other day, right, and he started complaining that the bananas were about one pence more expensive than Sainsbury's. He, he just stood there, he just picked up a banana, threw it at the uh, the shopkeeper. And you know, all he wanted to do was sell some nice potions. Ooh! I like that. He could have gone huge there, but um, no. He basically just picked up a banana and threw it at some guy's face, saying, Oh, your prices are shit, that's what he said. Just goes to show how little he knew about prices, or, uh, or investment for that matter. Oh shit. Are you gonna kill this other pyro? No? Come come kill me. Uh, blast me off the cliff. That's what he wanted to do. You know it. You were, you were watching him. The thoughts in his eyes right there were, oh, I could shoot this guy off the cliff. Nice dead ringer. I, I can shoot invisible spies. Very good. Do 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 do. Yeah. What upsets me a lot is when I see people using the Letranger eternal reward combo with the dead ringer and not using the gun. You know? <laughs> I've said many times that I think the the dead ringer is the shooty the shooty watch, so using it with the 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 stabby knife is a bit silly, and then doing that and not using the gun just seems like a bit you know you, you've gone a bit far there. You started a uh, started a Facebook post that I won't be liking anytime soon. I'm hip down and trendy with the kids. There. You see that little reference to social media there. I've I've got social media too. Oh, a little underfoot uh, the little underfoot shot there from Mr. Two Hundred Ping. Lovely. I'm kind of losing my dominations on everyone here, but I keep getting them back, so if we just get a little bit more on 66-9. The, num the number of the devil, but like his his private number. You ought to watch out for 66-9. He's a, a bit of a bit of an inappropriate one. A bit, a bit horny. There we go. He's He was standing still, to be honest, in the air. He was the equivalent of standing still, so it wasn't too tricky. But still good practice, I think. Reload quickly. Ooh, ooh. Oh, come on. No, you, you've got to shoot me in, like, anywhere. Or the soldier, perhaps. Or... I wasn't aiming for him, actually, but I was aiming for this... Gustav... <laughs> Gustav Jonasson. <laughs> Gustav Jonasson, man. He's he's still got his email set as his Steam name, probably. Ah, oh, Pyro. I'm going to blame it on the Pyro there, and not the fact that I missed. I wanted to get the, the stab on the soldier there. It's quite satisfying to to stab a, a rocket jumping soldier, I do have to say. Hello, nice. Can, someone on our team needs to, needs to cap the point. I think we're going to have to do it. We're running out of opportunities here. We're going to have to just sit here with the dead ringer and just cap, capture the control point. There's a soldier shooting at us. We're never going to do it. We're, we're stuck inside the point. And they're shooting at us with grenades and all sorts. I see why no one's capping the point on high tower. I see, I see I see where it comes from. I wanted to just sit there, you know, tank all the shots and push the cart like a good guy, but no. Can't do that apparently. You have to sit on there as like a heavy or something and get get arrows, perhaps. You gonna get all the revolver shots? Go on. Give it a go. 
He's trying. Mm. No, Mr. Jewel Italian is not going to do that today. I still understand, like, what's what's the point with putting the little the little uh, square brackets in your name followed by the country of origin? Like, are you are you trying to meet friends? Are you trying to show people that you won't respond in English? Is you know what what kind of thing are you trying to do here? You could just not respond, you know. If if you don't want people to know that you don't respond in English, you could just you know not reply. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe it's maybe it's just like a maybe it's like a gang sign kind of thing. You've got to show that you're one of the one of the Italian crew, one of the I I dog sizzles with their with their uh, their Wellington boot shaped country. Was that? I'm pretty sure that's Italy. See, I did do geography a couple of years ago, but I've forgotten every aspect of it. <laughs> you see, there we just hit like eight shots in a row with a revolver, and then there we just missed six. The reason for that is because he had a high ping. It wasn't because we missed, because we're bad. It's because of his ping. That's what you do. This is that's what we teach you here. We teach you how to how to make excuses. Because you know, there's no mistakes. There's just lacks of an excuse. <laughs> lacks of an excuse. See, I Danny there just got absolutely destroyed by the uh, the revolver. Very good. I think someone should cap. We have been going around fragging people with the uh, with the pea shooter for a bit now. Come on, set us off. You have to shoot us with your with your rocket launcher. There you go. Bit dangerous to undead ring us straight into their spawn, but I thought, you know, no harm, no foul. And since we're playing football, I think that was the most important message of the day. Thanks for shooting me. It's not like I'm wearing a disguise or anything. <laughs> God, we are. This is probably pretty good gun spy practice. <laughs> Running around with the, uh, the gun that does less damage, just to practice hitting more shots than you normally would have to. Oh God, we're so damaged. Please don't shoot us with your gun. If more than one pellet hits us, we're dead. Okay, we might survive a rocket now. Just one. Just one rocket. Just... just. Okay, good. <laughs> I was hoping that spy there wouldn't just run into our face and get us killed. He was thinking about it. Let's go get the big health pack. I'm really hoping, you know, like, you'd you think they would have... Someone would have capped by now, but their team hasn't even pushed it all than half the way. A scout going to come and try and frag us. Perhaps? The fuck is that soldier doing? He just did a little a little twirl in the air. How very fashionable of him. Oh, I should have put my dead ringer up. Oh, I wanted a butter knife in there, you see, but probably not the best opportunity for uh, for Bill Nye, the investment banker. Oh shit, Mr. Jewel, he's actually might be doing it for us. Is he doing it? I believe in Mr. Jewel. I can hold down F here and have a little watch. You can see him looking up there. Oh, is he safe? He headshot a man. Oh god, he's setting up miniature sentry guns, isn't he? Oh, that dick. What's fun? Baby, don't hurt me no more. Please don't pick up the health pack and crit me. Fine, I guess we'll run into this health pack. And there's this level 3 sentry over here somewhere. What are you doing? Don't chase me. It's a pub. Don't chase, don't chase spies in a pub. He's not a happy chappy, that man. He's... Something's upset him, and he's not happy about it. Oh, someone got the sentry. It was Mr. Jewel. He's coming in huge. He never, he never, he never makes me sad. Mr. Jewel always comes up tops. He's a bit like Benny from uh, from Fallout New Vegas. Look, a spy. S sap the spy. Look, it's a spy. Look. Oh, I'm using an unlock. What do you want? Oh shit, he's gonna melee me. <laughs> that the skunk. <laughs> He was wasting there as well. I'm not sure why. He's he's got he's got some he's got some salt in his socks there. I think he's he's not happy about something. Jesus Christ! This is taking forever. I wish someone would cap. We've got a level three on the cap. They've got mini sentries and all sorts of nonsense everywhere. Everywhere there's a mini. You turn your head and there's a mini. You you turn your your face and there's a mini. You turn everything. And there's a mini sentry right there. You're thinking, oh, I'd like to cap the control point in this payload game. And it's like, no. Oh, let's get on this cap. Let's try and live up to the uh, the legend of the Italian guy. <laughs> Perhaps we can do it. Perhaps we can do what no man has done before. And capture Hightower last. We're doing it. Oh god, we might actually do it. <laughs> He's blasting off again. No, no. We're so close. We're so close to having it. Don't, don't you dare. No! Oh, wow. We, 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 we got knocked off by something. I'm not, not sure what. 
Also, like, top tip of the day, don't shoot scouts when you're on, like, under 100 health. They will shoot you, and they will do more damage than you, even if you don't expect them to. Oi! That's right. He's coming after us thinking, oh, it's an easy spy pick. That's an easy spy pick. <laughs> That's an easy spy. He got the wrong idea. Rock he just blew himself up. Great. Is that heavy? He's... Oh! Now someone's got the heavy, might actually be able to cap now. Look. Hide back in the in the spot of the spot of heroes. Is he actually still in the server? Mr. Joel Italian, he's holding up the fort with his 25 points. After about half an hour. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> we might actually do it this time. I believe we've got Mr. Joel on the cap as always. He's he's a valiant man. He gave his life for the cap. I think he will die by the cap. But uh, oh shit. We we gonna do it? Oh, we did it. Fucking finally. That took forever. Jesus Christ. It was with the help of Mr. Jewel from Italia, though. Italia. Ita Italy. That's the country. But yeah, that'll, that'll do it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you, see you next time. Very good.